When Jake Cook decided to become a UNI Panther, it seemed like a natural fit with his older brother Adam Cook already on the team. With Jake in his senior year now, his younger brother, Bennett Cook, has signed to play for UNI in the years to come. While Jake and Bennett won't be on the team at the same time, it's hard not to think about Jake's year on the floor with Adam during the Panthers' amazing run to the Sweet 16. Brad Wells reports. After redshirting one season, Jake's first year on the court was with the 30-win UNI team They knocked off number one Kansas to put the Panthers in their first ever Sweet 16. Jake was a big part of that season just as a freshman, scoring 13 points in the MVC championship game and he put up 10 points in the win over Kansas. In Jake's sophomore season, he became the first Panther in UNI's Division I era to have 30 or more assists, steals, and blocks in a season. This year, through nine games, he leads the team on four different stat lines. It's kind of what happens when you progress as a player. You know, you go from being a freshman where nothing's really expected of you and everything's kind of a bonus to a sophomore where you try to get a little more consistency and then once you start becoming an upperclassman, you know, you start to be relied on day in, day out, and then as a senior, it's, it's your team now. Last season, Jake was one of just 14 players in the country to have 30 or more three-pointers, offensive rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks on the year. It's his style of play that has benefited the Panthers greatly over the last few years. Uh, the mismatch nightmare. I mean, he is, as we saw last year, and especially in the non-conference, when, we when we were rolling in the non-conference, he was making plays. Uh, he shot the ball great, um, but more, more than anything, he just knows how to play the game. Jake's very smart. He's really smart on the floor. He knows where to be and when to be there. I mean, he can shoot, he can post up. I mean, he's got so much size, it's hard for anybody to guard him down low. Another statistic Jake has found success where most big men don't is assists. Being able to distribute the basketball from his 6'9 frame allowed Jake to lead the team in assists with 90 a year ago. A lot of our offensive actions, he's able to get the ball, and when he does, he's able, he makes the right pass, he's able to drive the ball, he shot fakes well, he can post up. Um, so it's just, I mean, if I had to scout against him, it would be, it'd be a nightmare. Jake is hoping to be a nightmare for many MVC teams this year. Not only does he bring that balanced game, but in the offseason, he was working to add just one more element to his arsenal. You know, shot fakes or catch and go, and then a lot more post stuff, um, playing with Chip and Buzz. Every day, we just work together, at, you know, one or two quick dribbles and make, make a power move, just to be able to finish inside. I think he's, this year is just, it's his last year, so he's turning it up 10 times as much as last year. And he's always in the gym, always doing extra stuff. There's a spark in number 20 that's looking to drive this team back to the heights he saw as a redshirt freshman. He knows from having seen it that it's more than just hitting one big shot. It's putting in the time and the work to be in a spot to simply have that chance. I think he's got that. You know, I think seeing his brother do it is also one of those things that'll help seeing Johnny do it last year. Um, he, he realizes that it is, it is his time, you know, along with the other, the other three seniors, it's their time. And, and I think he's starting to embrace that and realize that. And, you know, all summer long, Coach Jacobson has talked to him about being that guy, moving into this new leadership role, you know, building on last year's leadership and, and making this team his own. And I think that, uh, you know, he's ready to embrace that and, and try to do the best he can with that role.